Hey guys, it is Thursday night here in West Virginia, and I decided to go ahead and do a, a updated showcase on the Mini GT Land Rover Defender 110. Uh, it's probably been about a year since I did a video on these, maybe even a little longer, uh, and I picked up some new variants since then. We have every single variant here to show you guys, except for one, which is the Sinopec uh, gas station exclusive from Hong Kong. And the reason I did not pick that one up is because it's almost identical to your Camel Trophy winner, and uh, there wasn't enough difference to justify the 50 bucks. but nowadays they're like 30 so if I continue to collect this casting, then I will probably eventually pick it up for that kind of money. Uh, but I've been debating whether or not to keep the 110s or sell them. So I may have even seen on my Instagram page or my Facebook page that I've posted the whole collection for sale for 250 the whole 14 truck collection for 250 bucks. If I can sell it all in one shot, sure. I'll get rid of them, but I'm not going to single them out. I'll just continue to keep collecting them. Uh, I'm just going to really focus on the wide body stuff for now on. That's pretty much all I collect nowadays. It's mini GT, wide body GTRs, Lamborghinis, BMWs, and A90 Supras. So, but as I said, the 110 is like the secondary collect, I would say. Side collect, whatever you'd like to call it. So anyways, back to the Sinopec. Um, the reason I didn't get it is because it's only a shade variant, basically, and there's no British flag on the hood or on the backside. That's the difference between the Sinopec and the regular release. So, if you have the Sinopec, you may park them next to each other and notice that maybe there's a shade variant, kind of like this, even though this one is, like, dirty, but it may be, like, subtle difference like that, where this is slightly darker because of the dirt. Uh, the Sinopec is a clean variant, though, and it also says, like, support vehicle. That may be why it didn't have the British flags on it and stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's the difference, and that's why I didn't have it in my lineup. Um, but, yeah, this is probably the most sought-after 110, and it was the first release of the 110, the Camel Trophy winner. Very nicely done. Love all the details, like the pry bar, the shovel, the spare tire on the hood, and then you got the spare tire on the back side. Uh, very cool, very nicely done with the brush guard. Uh, the roof rack with all of the cargo and accessories, the ramps and stuff like that. Even nicely done detailed chassis. We'll go over this one in fine detail. All the other ones we won't. We'll just kind of show you guys the paint and stuff. But as you can see, highly detailed chassis. And it is a metal chassis, metal body. They are screwed together, button head screws. So if you did want to swap out the wheels and tires, very easily can be done without modifying anything on the casting itself unless they're bigger and you want to lift it or something like that but you don't have to drill any rivets or anything like that uh they put rubber mirrors on it which that's one thing i do favor about mini gt they give you the detail of the rubber or the mirrors but they make them rubber so they're so, uh, kind of durable they do that with most of their castings a few have plastic mirrors uh, not on the defender but on some of their vehicles but very rarely uh, do they have plastic usually it's rubber so, getting this guy out of the way, moving along to his dirty counterpart. Now, there is one downside to this casting that I found as a downside. It's like sometimes with the Mini GT stuff, sometimes they don't seat the tire on the wheel very good. So, that's an easy fix. No problem. You just kind of finagle the tire around and seat it on the rim good. No problem. Except on this guy here. Their uh, dirty look on the tires is not done very well it's not dyed it's actually just painted on and very poorly painted on because as soon as you like flex the rubber there was no flexing agent added into this paint as soon as you flex the tire the paint starts cracking and flakes off that's what happened to this back tire but it still looks very realistic it doesn't look like i've damaged anything uh it just does look realistic like it has some mud on it maybe ran through a wet puddle and wiped some of the mud off the same thing happened with the back tire, but actually this kind of even looks more realistic because with the mud splashing up on the tire, probably wouldn't have gotten all over the sidewall. Maybe just on the top side, bottom side of it. So it gave it more of a realistic look in my opinion. And uh, that's pretty much the only downside that I found with this casting. As you can see, the, every other tire is pretty uniform or the whole sidewall is dirty. 
except for that one back one because of that reason. But still, yeah, pretty cool. Then I'm going to say, <clears throat> after these two, all the other ones are pretty evenly, like, I guess, uh, value uh, in value and stuff like that. But um, there still are a couple that are pretty rare uh, and hard to find. This is probably the hardest one to get your hands on, this guy here. This is your HK Toy Car Salon from 2021. Um, I got lucky with our hobby shop in the Philippines, Hobby Stock. If you spent 3,000 pesos, which is roughly like 60 bucks at that time, uh, you got this for free, which was awesome. I ordered 3,000 worth of Mini GT stuff two different times and got two of these for free. And I ended up selling one and kept one for myself. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool looking casting. But for me, like, event cars are not that big of a deal for me to get. But I did try to be a complete... Uh, like a completionist with this, but with the casting, I should say, but I did not get the Sino pack, so I wasn't going to get this one, but I got it for free, so I said, hey, what the hell, it's free. <laughs> so I added it to the collection and stuff. I like things that are more realistic looking, made like after real vehicles. I don't think they made a Defender. I don't think anybody's driving around with this wrap on it for the toy car salon. Could be wrong. Could have been on display there. Don't know. Did not attend. But, yeah, that's a very valuable one nowadays. Um, probably this and the Camel Trophy winner are the two most valuable ones. And then followed by the Sino Pack and the Shell. The Shell looks pretty cool. The Shell actually looks really cool with a trailer hooked to this hitch. And the Shell Mini GT GTR on the back of it. Looks really good together. Uh, so, unfortunately, I don't have any more trailers. I've been really, really slimming down my collection. I think I sold all my trailers in the Philippines before I came back. Um, so, didn't have that trailer to do that setup for you guys, which I would have done, because it looks pretty cool. So, there's your shell. Spinning them around. Kind of reminds me of, like, McDonald's with the red and yellow. <laughs> so, looks like Ronald McDonald should be standing next to it or something. Um, then after that, there's some like country exclusive ones, um, that are pretty, um, not hard to find. They're relatively easy to find if you're in Asia, but if you're in the States and such, they may be a little more complicated to find. Uh, the last one that I got that I wasn't able to obtain when I was in the Philippines, but I got it from the Philippines, my wife sent it to me, was this guy here. This is a Malaysian military exclusive which is a really cool looking one so as you can see the malaysian flags there pretty cool looking vehicle and this one had a totally different roof rack that's the one thing about these vehicles they have very subtle different little options on them like everyone is kind of different some of them share some of the same options and stuff but this one is the only one that i have with this style roof rack it's the only one that's been made with like i guess it would be these rollout canopies or tents on the side with a rear mount roof rack only usually the roof racks on the defender are full from front to rear usually it's not just a half roof roof rack um it's just like this here and the some have like a full cargo and then you have also with and without the sunroof and the Hong Kong one didn't have the sunroof and this one doesn't have the sunroof either and then you have some with side steps these little running boards but they're individual running boards for each passenger in the vehicle and then, uh, moving along, here's another camo one. This is just your general camo Land Rover. And it is really nice looking. I'm sorry, trying to get the focus back in here. I don't know why the damn camera is doing that. Give me one second. There we go. So, a pretty cool looking like that. Uh, then, some have like the rear ladder. Some have rear spare tire, some have the hood spare tire, and such. Uh, then you have some with the snorkel, and uh, actually, I think there's only two with the snorkel 
for the air intake, and that is going to be this one, the uh, Red Cross, and then the Red Bull have the snorkel on it for the air intake. And then um, this one also has a sidebar mount bars. This actually has a cover over the wheel on the rear, which is different. That's the only one that has that. All the other ones have exposed wheels for their spare tires. This one does not. It has a uh, cover over it. And this one just has a winch on the front with no brush guard, which is kind of unique. And then you also have the ones with, um, what was I going to say? Oh, these side windows on the roof, too. I think some of them have maybe no side window. And actually, they all do. I take that back. So the side windows are present. Just the sunroof is not present on some of them. And then they made two that didn't have hitches. And actually in the uh, prototype picture, they did have hitches. That is this Countryman. And then I think that's what they call it. Countryman or Country Wagon, something like that. And then the Royal Post from the UK. These are the very, very subtle ones. Uh, this one has a hood mount spare though. So it's almost identical to the HK Salon. And this one is bare bones, uh, kind of not much going on. Has the rear spare, though. And then we have this one, which is an Indonesian exclusive. And this one has like a partially full roof rack. And you can see the sun roof exposed on this one. Uh, and it is the only one that has the red gas cans in the top. So kind of uh, a different situated cargo uh, on the top and a different cargo, I would say. So pretty cool looking vehicle. Then you have the police. This is also another Indonesian vehicle. Uh, this is the only one that I had a problem with. The light bar is slightly crooked on this one. Not too bad, though. And it's just, I'm very picky about that stuff, especially when you're paying like 15 bucks or 20 bucks for a die cast 164. I'm going to be pretty picky. Um, and this one's kind of subtle, too. Not much going on with it, except for the police livery. Now, this one here is the Golf. This is a uh, Miho exclusive, and this one has the exact same roof rack as the Camel Trophy. And it also uh, does, well, the only thing it does not have, though, I just noticed, is it does not have the ramps on it. As you can see, everything else is pretty much identical, except it does not have ramps. And then, doesn't have the big brush guard either, does not have the hood mount uh, thing, I uh, mean, spare. Now, this one does have a snorkel on the passenger side up here. So I should have rephrased that so that the ones like the Red Cross and the Red Bull are the only ones with the driver's mount snorkel. And I believe that's driver's mount, or maybe that is the difference. It's passenger mount on this one. And then let me see about the Red Cross. The Red Cross, I think, is right-hand drive. Yeah, it is right-hand drive. So... I was thinking that may be the difference that they mounted the snorkel on the passenger side when it is left-hand drive, and then when it is right-hand drive, they mount it on the left side, but that's not the case. It just happens to be that these two, the Red Bull and the Red Cross, ironically, <laughs> that they both have red in the name, had the snorkel air intake on the passenger slash driver side, depending on what region it comes from, but the right side, we should say. And then we have the one that was the second release, and it's like actually one of my favorites. It has the little surfboards on top, and it is done in kind of a matte aqua blue uh, with the white top, white wheels, looks really cool. Has a rear ladder to get up there to get your surfboards, and it has silver painted hitch. The hitch kind of stands out from the rest of them and the hood mount spare tire so pretty cool looking vehicle uh that is one of my favorites actually 
out of all of them, I would say the one with the surfboards is probably my favorite. Followed by the Camel Trophy winner. So that is my winner out of all of them. Just because it looks more of like a civilian model. And it looks like it's for leisure use, your own vacation with the surfboards. It, and the paint just pops to me too. That matte look. But still it has that pastel like aqua blue look to it. Pretty cool. So guys, that's pretty much it of the Land Rovers. I'll pick up the camera and kind of go give you an overhead look. So there are 14 here. I believe. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. So at the Cenopec, there are 15 models. And they are going to be releasing the Camel Trophy again with the pontoon boats and such, which is pretty cool. I will be buying that one if I'm still collecting this casting. But as I said, if there's anybody out there interested, I will sell the whole lot for $250 plus shipping. They are located in the States. Uh, so it's a ready made uh land rover collection if anybody is into this casting but i will not split them up um i'll just continue collecting them but these here are my babies the wide body a90s gtrs and lamborghinis and the beamer just ordered the newest imsa number 25 white beamer it's pretty much that car but with some race livery on it it's the LBWK. Just ordered it. I should have it in a couple of weeks. My wife will be sending it here with some other stuff that we'll be selling. Some Melon Legends Tour Mustangs and Skylines. We'll be getting those soon. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back probably at the very beginning of the week. Because it is Labor Day, or I mean, sorry, Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> and we... Won't be doing a video on Memorial Day, but we should have a box from DHL from the Philippines come Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll be doing an unboxing on that, so be sure to tune back in for that. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope I gave you some information on these little beauties. Thank you.